King Dedede started out as just a character that sometimes would show up in the back of Dreamland, to finally becoming a character in his iteration in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. If we know anything about competitive play in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, it was that a lot of the game revolved around how good your chain grab would be against the rest of the characters in the cast. And ironically, King DDD had an amazing chain grab, being able to chain grab a majority of the cast. Although not as good as, let's say, Meta Knight, who literally controlled the meta of Super Smash Bros. Brawl, DDD landed on the C plus tier on Brawl's most recent tier list. King DDD is known for being a slow and heavyweight character and doesn't play like your average character in Smash. He is known for his really good reach and power, and with moves like his forward tilt, up tilt, and his back air being really strong tools in his moveset. With the transition to Project M, King DDD still keeps the core of his moveset, but with added buffs to make certain things more viable. On paper it might not seem like he received many changes, but there definitely is more that meets the eye. He has received range increases on almost all of his moves to increases in his strengths of being a slow ranged character. Still, he has a lot of wind up on most of his moves, but some of them did receive some minor speed buffs. Like for example his aerials, his up air no longer is a multi hit move, and his forward air is a lot better of a kill move than it was in any other iteration. He is a lot like a slower, more heavyweight version of Marth in my opinion at least. He receives buffs to things like his Jet Hammer, as in Brawl, it was a really useless move, it took too much to charge up. Now it takes a much shorter time to charge up and is a lot more rewarding once you hit with it. His up special no longer has a crazy amount of armor, but he can now cancel his recovery, which adds more variety to getting back on stage. He retains his classics, like his neutral B inhale, which allows DDD to set up combos, get people off stage as well. With the transition to Project Plus, DDD has received small buffs to his moveset like having less startup on things like his down tilt and his swallow, and some more knockback to certain moves, but they did nerf his weight slightly, so DDD will last less longer during each stock, but despite that nerf to his weight, he still received a majority of buffs during his transition to Project Plus. Just nothing crazy that I would say. Some of the tech that I feel is important for DDD is waddle tossing, or otherwise known as waddle dashing, which, for those who don't know, if DDD throws out a waddle D with the side B basically, and wave dash into it, or even just press L or R, it will allow DDD to throw the waddle D and dash forward or backward. This can be done in the air, it can also be done anywhere, and adds an incredible amount of movement options for King DDD considering he's a very slow character. I would say it's one of the most important techs for the character, and every DDD main should know it. He also has one of the quickest grabs in the game, so I recommend that you learn how to chain grab characters with it, combo with, your tilts with it, up tilt is really good. King DDD will have great confirms off of grab, mainly with his up throw and down throw. So I would say, you learn how to chain grab, you learn how to waddle dash, and another th important thing for him is edge guarding as well. King DDD is really good at edge guarding due to having multiple jumps, similar to Jigglypuff or Kirby. He has great aerials like his forward air and his back air, and the best advice I would give is practice being off stage with King DDD for sure. I will say this though, as far as the negatives to the character, he does struggle with being a large character. So that means he's one of the easiest characters to combo in the game. Along with being a large hitbox for the character, he, he gets hit a lot. So it's hard for DDD to avoid things like projectiles, uh, like Fox lasers for example, Falco lasers, like that can be really troublesome for him. Uh, that means he, he just gets comboed a lot. So Project M is a very offensive game compared to Brawl. Brawl is a really passive game. So for Project M, DDD's strengths take more precision to pull off. He can't just win by like grabbing and chain grabbing over and over. This isn't Brawl. So King DDD usually ends up on the lower end of Project M tier list with ending 3.6 at the bottom 10 of the tier list. He is a hard character to play in my opinion uh, just because of how easy it is to combo against him and, and how much he can struggle. So a lot of DDDs will end up like camping in the air with waddle dashing and stuff like that. Uh, but I do think the character is capable of doing things, 
So don't be afraid to pick up King DDD. He's he's actually a really interesting character with all of his like character specific tech. I think he's really underrated in some aspects. King DDD is a great bait and punish character, not being known for his hyper offense, but more known for punishing with grabs and his hit confirms. He is a slow, heavy character with a lot of jumps, so it's important for anyone who mains King DDD to practice things like waddle dashing, practice edge guarding, chain grab, stuff like that, have really good fundamentals down, because those are some of the two biggest strengths for the character in my opinion is his advanced tech that's like really underneath the character. So that's what I would say about King DDD. I hope you guys liked the video. Peace.